What's up guys? It's Matty Ice and today have I found a mistress for my Troy built Bronco? It's me again, Matty Ice. We're here for another how-to and kind of like product review. What you see right here is a yard machine brand. It's a Yard Machine 21 inch uh, side discharge and mulching lawnmower. It's push, it is not self propelled. And it's 140cc and it's got a Briggs and Stratton engine in it. So I got this because I wanted something to, you know, love the Bronco. Amazing. But it's not always the easiest in my yard to, you know, navigate around the front yard, the mailbox, even the small little sections up on my sidewalk. The tractor's just too much to get around there and do a decent job. So I thought, why don't I pick up this? And this was last year. I got this right at the end of the season. It was on sale. It was like a, I don't know, hundred and like twenty nine, hundred and thirty nine dollars And I got it out of the box like two weeks later and started putting it together. And next thing you know, cold weather hits. <laughs> and... Uh, no, that was the end of it for the uh, season. I was kind of disappointed. I never got to use it. So it basically sat all winter in my garage, unused. I never even put oil in it. But uh, we're going to be looking at it today, and we're actually going to be getting it ready for the first time. It does come with a spark plug. Right there, it's under the under the plug, actually. No gas in it, and there's no oil from the factory. So they do give you oil when you buy these. Uh, this one came with this SAE 30. The instruction manual, though, says to use... 10W30 or 15W30. I think going forward I'll probably just use 10W30 because honestly that's what the tractor takes and I don't see a reason a little combustion engine like this would be anything special. Alright guys, so looking at the side of the engine, the oil fill compartments over here, we have the gas on the other side and then you'll know because you have your, if we can roll back a little bit, there's your muffler right there. And pretty simple and then down here on this side you also have your flap that'll be covering your chute. So you can either have grass discharged out the side or this is the mulching plug and they do give you both. Right here, this yellow cap on this model is going to be where the oil is and this is incredibly tight. I just you know, managed to get it loose but on these ones, if you have it and it's too tight, what you'll need to do is get like a screwdriver or something that's about the size of this and rotate it to you know, help get it started. So loosening it up. It's quite a long thread on this too. I really don't like these ones, but I guess they're not too bad. And then looking at this, uh, yeah, there's um, yeah, there's no oil that I can see on there. So the directions tell me to add the entire contents of this bag that they gave me. This is 15 fluid ounces. I mean, it's possible, but I don't know. 15 fluid ounces just sounds like a lot of oil for one of these type of tractors. So or lawnmowers, I should say. Let's get this over there, and then they do give you this nice little pouch to help you fill it with. We can get her lined up. There you go. And give her a little squeeze, and she should start flowing out. So I put about half the bag in there, and I just want to check it just to make sure. I don't want to overfill this thing. Ooh, as we drop it. You know what, I'm just going to add the whole pouch, because the directions said to do that. Because it doesn't, to me, it doesn't look like the whole thing's covered. So, let's close her up. And, a little bit of shake. I mean, it looked like when I was peeking in there, it looks like it's pretty good on oil right now. It didn't look like it was too much. And if it is, you know, these little engines tend to burn off oil a little bit, so I'm not not too worried about it. Okay, so looking at the side, we're actually like right at the tip of that arrow. I mean, this side's like coated, but there you go. Right at the tip of the arrow. That's actually pretty good. All right, guys, so first start of this thing, I've got gasoline, I've got oil in there, and it is, unfortunately, a uh, full start, so... You gotta give it the old heave ho to get it going. Now, on this side over here, we do have a prime bulb, so we're gonna make sure to hit that. And it's first time it's got fuel in it, so instead of hitting it like four or five times, I'm gonna wait till I start to feel pressure. There we go. One, two, three, four, five times. 
we'll give it a pull, we'll see how it goes. Couldn't figure out why it wasn't starting, like I couldn't pull it. Here, this handle has to come upwards another rung, and it, uh, it actually sticks down to the body to prevent the blade from turning. Nice safety feature, but <laughs> that's why you read directions, folks. So now if we give it a pull, it should at least try and turn. Ah, it turned. There it goes. Pretty impressed for first run, as you can see. It did a really good job. I mean, the grass is like four to five inches in most places, and it cut it down to, I don't know, like two and a half, two and three quarter, whatever it's currently set to. So, all right, guys. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with this yard machine. It's a very nice mower. So, I think you guys should pick one up if you're thinking about heading an inexpensive lawnmower that's not going to require a lot of you know work all right guys that does it for this one we'll catch you next time have a good night hey guys i know i said that was it but i figured i'd give you a little after action report don't mind my hair it's crazy little boy right here did a good job um power through the grass i would say though uh, if you look out at my lawn here i did the whole front portion right here over to my neighbor's side and then side of my house and on this side same thing up front on the sidewalk area over here and also as you can see down the side and then I stopped before I got to the backyard because the backyard is a swampy mess right now what I will tell you it took me normally 10-15 minutes to cut my entire yard with my full-size lawnmower because it's faster much more powerful engine and uh, it's it's got a wider deck. I think that one's like 48 inches, so it's it's more than you know double <laughs> the size of a little yard machine. And the yard machine only goes as fast as I push it. And then some of the grass, about four inches tall. Other portions where there's you know a lot of water, usually maybe six. When you have heavy wet grass, the yard machine does bog down a little bit. As you can see, I got some areas where there was a ton of grass built up and I had to let it up a little bit to kick it out. If you have thick grass where you're not mowing on a weekly basis, you might want to, you know, not use the mulching blade unless you're going to be out there and, you know, dealing with that. And I didn't uh, put the side discharge on, but I think I might because it's just, uh, it's a little bit much to manage. I was really impressed with it though, it did good with the gas. I didn't even put like a quarter of a tank of gas in that boy and he went. He went to town and he started feasting. Probably the speed I was pushing it at and the combination of length of grass, it took me about 34 minutes to cut all of this. <laughs> and uh, that includes the couple of times I stopped to take a break, so realistically it probably took me an extra 10-12 to 12 minutes to cut my grass than it would have normally, so highly recommended. Alright guys. For real now, that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good night.